सोच में सकारात्मकता लाएं, जीवन को बेहतर बनाएं। मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम मनु दर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू हेलो नमस्कार एंड अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स वाचिंग एनसीआरटी लाइव इंटरक्टिव सेशन आई एम सिमरन सिंह एंड यू हैव ऑल कनेक्टेड विद आस टू ई विद्या चैनल नंबर सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व Besides this, there are so many different mediums through which you can all connect with us. You can even participate in our live interactive programs. And once again, a very warm welcome to all our viewers in our special segment that is Sahiyog. Regularly from five till five thirty, we come up with our Sahiyog programs. And let me also apprise you that Sahiyog and Paricharcha are two very special programs that are conducted as a part of Manodarpan Initiative by Ministry of Education, Government of India. which is aimed at providing psychosocial support and uh, also encouraging you and uh, telling you more about mental well-being mental awareness so viewers are providing us more insights into the conversation we always have with us a practicing counselor our faculty from ncert i will be introducing you to our experts but uh, before that let me apprise you the topic for today's program we all know that examinations are approaching and whenever we hear this term examinations there is a feeling of anxiety a nervousness so the topic for the day revolves around from confused to centered powerful techniques to fight examination anxiety now how to stay more focused during examinations and in this live interactive program if you have any of the queries you have any of the questions so here is our national tele helpline number it's flashing on your screens it is 8448440632 and also uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, through this mail id of sahyog flashing on your screens it is sahyog.ncert@ciet.nic.in thank you once again and uh, let me also introduce you to our experts to the panel we have with us dr seema r assistant professor from neeri ncert shillong namaskar ma'am we welcome you namaskar and good evening uh, we also have with us our practicing counselor ms babita ji namaskar ma'am नमस्कार थैंक यू सो मच आप दोनों का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आज के हमारे सहयोग के इस सत्र में और हम परीक्षा पर बात कर रहे हैं तो ये समझना तो बहुत ज़रूरी है बच्चों कि ये जो परीक्षाएं हैं ये ज़रूरी क्यों हैं व्हाई आर एग्जामिनेशंस इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाट आर द पर्पस ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन सो दिस इज़ अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट हाउ दिस आंसर विल टर्न लेट्स गेट टू नो फ्रॉम डॉक्टर सीमा यस सीमा मैम thank you next uh, the first slide please examinations it's very important to know very clearly what is the real purpose of examination the moment we hear the word examination as you said that uh, it is just relating us to stress anxiety and fear but the real purpose of examination should be very clear to each and every student teachers and all the stakeholders it's a very very important and vital part of the education system and it is very closely integrated with the teaching learning process it is as important as teaching and the learning activities happening in the classroom it is a important tool to find out where the student stands what really the student understood and what are the areas of improvement the examination system the main goal is to make the student realize where they really stand and how far they have understood the subject and once they identify the areas of improvement it is a platform or a feedback platform not only for the students but also to the teachers for further improvement and throughout the academic journey examination is a very crucial component and it is a very normal process but it makes the student more responsible next slide please examination makes the student more confident 
that we will, these are the capabilities, these are the knowledge and skills that we have developed that can be proved through examination system. And it has one more important goal that it helps in increasing our memory or recalling capacity. Information that we have gathered is being recalled. Moreover, it uh, helps the students to critically evaluate the information which they, we, they have gained. It helps the students to get self-motivated that in a very healthy, competitive manner. So the clear purpose of examination should be very, very, I mean, clear to the students and the teachers so that the fear and anxiety doesn't come. And throughout the school education system, examination system makes the students themselves to prepare towards higher education because they will be facing so many competitive examinations. So without fear, if the purpose is clear, without fear, they can face it as a positive, healthy comp competition. And it is a platform of analyzing where we are, our own skills, where do we need to develop, how can we excel further. Next, please. Now, even though there are so many uh, advantages of examination system, there are certain important skills which are being developed in the students. And I talk, when we talk about self-discipline, it increases the self-discipline. It is a tool to increase self-confidence and self-discipline. By the students are going to learn how to manage time, not only during examination, but also while planning they become more organized. So that is an important skill which we need throughout our life. Memory and recalling capacity also increases through the examination system. Students will learn how to critically analyze the information gathered, the knowledge that they have gained, and they can exhibit their creativity through examinations. Moreover, the communication skill, whatever oral or written, whatever thoughts they have in their mind, can be clearly communicated through examination system. Problem solving skill is also very, very important, which can be uh, developed among the students through examination system. And more, moreover, the most important, it makes the students more resilient to face challenges in a healthy way. Next, please. So the, in the present scenario, even though there are so many examination reforms, there have been a lot of changes in the assessment system and evaluating system throughout, not only the structural way of conducting examination, also the procedure also have changed. But still there are certain challenges before a school education system, which includes sometimes when there is lack of planning, there is a problem. Fear comes when there is no lack of planning. And in the classroom teaching learning process, there are learning gaps. Students don't understand the concepts, so they are afraid of the subject. So sub, sub, they have fear towards, again, exam. Rot learning sometimes they do when they don't understand. So these are the challenges. Not only that, all these results into fear. And finally, it leads to stress and anxiety. Yeah. Of course, so here we have discussed about certain challenges that students uh, actually face during examinations and also why examinations are so important for our life and the different kind of skills that we develop and learn during that phase of examinations. So it is also important to understand whenever we talk about anxiety or stress, how to uh, get to know or identify whether a student is facing anxiety or not. What are some of the uh, visual symptoms that we can see and might not see? And uh, providing us more insights into this area, we have with us our practicing counselor, Babita ma'am. Yeah, then uh, next slide, the symptoms are coming later on. See, um, as ma'am has uh, already explained that there are certain skills, yeah, this slide, certain skills which we develop certain uh, things after uh, we go through the examination system, but uh, certain skills and certain, with the certain benefits, there are certain challenges also, certain things are coming with the exam. So, so to analyze yourself, so to see these things in your child, in case you are feeling, uh, getting to see these symptoms, you should always be very observant. If a child, 
uh, going for an examination and he is uh, feeling uh, uh, when he or she is writing the exam he is feeling that his hands are wet there a lot of sweat आपके साथ होता है बेटा जब आप लिख रहे हो तो कई बार आपको लगता है हम सबके साथ होता है पेन फिसल रहा है हम नहीं लिख पा रहे सो दैट इज योर आर्म्स आर स्वेटिंग सो बिकॉज यू आर फीलिंग दैट एंजाइटी सो दीज आर वन ऑफ द सिम सेम वेज आपको कई बार लगेगा कि मेरा हेड हो रहा है बहुत दिनों से मुझे हेड हो रहा है इट यू विल फील दैट इट कम्स ओनली ड्यूरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन सडनली यूल फील दैट यू हैव अ स्टमक एक सो दीज आर सर्टन फिजिकल सिम्टम्स विच यू कैन सी but there are certain emotional symptoms also which you can see around yourself or your friend or your uh, sister in case they are going for exam so see those emotional symptoms also suppose a child happy child suddenly he or she starts worrying aapka bachcha suddenly bahut tension le raha hai bahut frustrated hai choti choti baaton mein wo bahut irritated feel kar raha hai he is very um, agitated and when you are talking also he is not replying properly so those are the इमोशनल सिम्टम्स उसे बहुत जल्दी गुस्सा आ रहा है सो अगेन दो फ्रस्ट्रेशन इज कमिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द इमोशनल सिम्टम नेक्स्ट लाइफ प्लीज देन कम्स योर कॉग्नेटिव सिम्टम्स कॉग्नेटिव सिम्टम्स आर समथिंग लाइक हैविंग अ नेगेटिव सेल्फ टॉक विच इज लाइक आपको सडनली ऐसा लगने लगेगा कि uh, मुझसे तो नहीं हो पाएगा मैं नहीं क्लियर कर सकता एग्जाम और मैं तो कितना भी पढ़ लूंगा मैं मुझसे ये एग्जाम सो दीज आर नेगेटिव सेल्फ टॉक विच वी शुड नॉट अलाउ then uh, you will feel that ki maine padh liya sara kuch aur mujhe yaad nahi aa raha you will find feel difficulty in remembering those information it's just because of your anxiety or fear that's it nothing it's not that that you have forgotten everything aapko aisa feel ho raha hai then your mind will suddenly go blank aapko answer aata hai aapne padha hai aapne yaad kiya but suddenly you feel oh mujhe to kuch bhi nahi aa raha mere ko kuch bhi nahi samajh aa raha होता है हम सबके साथ ऐसा होता है किसी न किसी स्टेज पे सो दिस इज अगेन अ सिम्टम दैट यू आर गोइंग टू यू आर हैविंग एग्जाम फियर नाउ योर बिहेवियरल सिम्टम्स लाइक एवरी टाइम व्हेन देयर इज अ एग्जाम यू विल स्टार्ट अवॉइडिंग द चाइल्ड विल स्टार्ट अवॉइडिंग नहीं मम्मा आज मुझे स्कूल ले जाना आज मुझे घर पे रहने दो आज मुझे बहुत नींद आ रही है आज मुझे उठने का मन नहीं कर रहा आज सर दर्द हो रहा है आज मेरी मैम नहीं आ रही तो दीज आर द सिम्टम्स Uh, by which you are avoiding the exam again this is to be taken care of next is your difficulty in concentration aap jab bhi padhne baith rahe ho har 2 minute pe kabhi kuch kabhi kuch aapko yaad aa jayega kabhi aap bologe mujhe activity karni hai kabhi kuch karna hai to you are not concentrating by sitting at one place then a uh, social withdrawal you will feel that every time you have to meet someone or this thing you will avoid you will not meet you will not avoid going in public why because you are avoiding everyone you don't want questions you don't want anyone to remind you for the exams so these are certain symptoms which you should always take care agar aapke aas paas or in your child if you are seeing these symptoms you should work on them of course so now we got to know the different uh, challenges uh, symptoms that are associated with anxiety so it's very important to know uh, how we can come out of that anxiety are there certain techniques or strategies that one can follow in order to overcome examination stress or anxiety babita ma'am yeah i will tell you uh, in before going to how to take how to handle such things and how to overcome this anxiety i wanted to just add on one more point that you have to see that that these symptoms what i have told you should not uh, be every time if it is happening for a uh, continuous over a period time then it will become a habit of yours which you should try and avoid which you should start working on that how to overcome how you can come out of those things so now i will be telling you the different next slide please the different steps how to overcome uh, these uh, techniques uh man one slide prior to this uh, the very first uh, point i am going to uh, next next slide please okay uh, so very, man, uh, let's discuss about the relaxation techniques okay okay so this is uh, something i am going to tell you uh, the uh, this is one of the most important uh, point which uh, which is very important that is one of the point is your relaxation technique or you need to keep your body fully relaxed the first if i am sitting and studying at this place continuously for one hour you will feel that my body has gone stiff this entire portion can you see the student this entire shoulder your neck 
everything becomes stiff. So first, to relax your body, you need to do certain exercises, which will help your, which will help you to feel, which will help your body and mind to relax. The first two things are your yoga, which will help your, which will make your body flexible and you can relax your body. Next is your meditation. After meditation, you should go for a good sleep also, which will help you in taking, in resting, which will again help you in uh, resting, will keep the entire body. At times, suppose I am uh, seeing computer. So what happens? I At times, the battery goes off. So what I do is, I shut down or I restart the computer. Same way, our entire body is like a system. So you need to first relax your body. You need to give your body a time and space so that you can again recharge yourself, right? The next slide, the relaxation technique which I was uh, mentioning. And then you have to again, one uh, one more thing uh, in the relaxation technique, do the items which you feel that by doing these things gives you happiness. Any hobby, you can listen to a good music, you can uh, dance on a, a good song, or you can, if any child likes doing a good drawing on painting, you can go for that also. At times, children do uh, feel relaxed when they go for cycling. Try and see at the, uh, go to the nature. Try and see at the items which is greenery around you, which will relax your eyes also. So I told you all the three things. First, you have to relax physically. Then by deep breathing, you have to relax your mind. And by, by uh, looking at green things, you can relax your eyes also. Because when you are studying, when you are exerting yourself, each and every body part is very important to relax. Next slide, please. In the same continuation, I will be uh, telling you, um, you should have a mindset by which you should think that I will do it. I am going to go for it and I will be able to achieve that aim. It's not that every time uh, you have to think that, okay, I can't do this. These feelings you have to remove and you have to believe in yourself. Courage is not just the absence of fear, but it's rather a triumph to get over it. First, you have to start believing in yourself. Okay, now today I will do this. Next time, I'm going to uh, go for the next aim. You have to eat healthy also. Say, suppose, um, I'll give you very, uh, in short, I will give you very small, uh, next, in the next slide also, there are certain food items which I am going to explain you what all things you should eat. But quickly, I will... Uh, we telling you two items, which is coconut and dark chocolate. These are the two items which releases uh, in your body, it releases serotonin. It, it is a happy hormone. When it releases uh, serotonin, your body, your brain, you become happy. Like it, it is the same hormone when you are watching a good movie. So the same kind of hormone releases when you eat coconut or when you eat dark chocolate. So your stress comes down. So suddenly you feel that you are rejuvenated, your mood changes. Like if you have a little bit of tension, then you just go to the kitchen and eat a small dark chocolate piece. Isn't it easy children? You can do it around, right? There are other food items also, but these two things, at exam time, have coconut water, that's again something you can easily get it, right? Banana, walnuts, these are the avocado, these are the things you can always go for it. A little dietary changes and you will feel a lot of change in yourself. Like vitamin B6 rich fruit items, you can go because this is very important for your brain. It's a basically a food item for your brain. Then the vegetables, whole greens, uh, which is a good source of protein, you need to go for that also. Vitamin C so, uh, rich uh, uh, foods, that is again very good. And many other items like probiotic, fermented food items, your curd, Curd is again a very good source of energy which you will get and you should. And in case you feel tired out of everything, just have one glass of glucose. Sudden instant energy you will feel and you will feel, okay, now I am ready again to study for some more time, right? Now the previous slide, again the previous slide. So these are the uh, food items which you should go for it. One more point ma'am has already mentioned and again I will emphasize on this, that is time management, right? Time management is something 
विच यू ऑल शुड सीरियसली गो फॉर इट अगर हमने कोई भी चीज एंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट ओनली फॉर एग्जाम अगर हम आज किसी हॉलीडे पे जा रहे हैं और इफ वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एम फंक्शन time management is very important uh, well ma'am yeah, as you informed us about time management i'll also have to tell you that uh, we are running short of time so i'll have to request you to please conclude your words yeah ma'am just uh, you have to just i will conclude everything you have to keep a 80 20 principle 80% time 80% of the day should be a planning and the doing for the present day and 20% should be you should do for the next for the advance you should and in case If still you are feeling the stressed out, and still you are feeling you need help, you go for you seek for a professional help. Talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, and believe me, you all are not alone. We all are with you, ma'am. Next to next slide, please. Next slide. This is uh, I will end uh, my presentation. Just I will give you one example of a boy, Omkar. He is a totally disabled child on wheelchair. and he lost his father two two weeks prior to his exam but still he scored more than 75% next slide me ma'am if he can do it we all can do it next slide ma'am again okay, this is aryan aryan also is a national table tennis player and he also scored very well in his exam just by doing and planning a good time management next slide ma'am See, we all where there is a will, there is a way. If we all are working together, if you plan nicely, if you never give up, you all can go for it. And this is something which, at every stage, examination system is just a small part of your life, and don't take it too seriously. Plan out, do certain exercises, eat healthy, stay with your parents, stay with your teachers, talk to everyone, and go for it. You all can achieve your aim, right, children? Of thank course. You so much, uh, thank you so much for sharing all these important details with us, uh, Babita, ma'am. And very quickly, I would like to go back to uh, Seema, ma'am. Uh, as we are discussing about examinations, so there might be some students who are actually very uh, reluctant or hesitant because we all know that when we talk about anxiety or stress, there might not be some visible symptoms of anxiety or stress that we are facing. So in that area, I believe parents and teachers they play a very great role. And uh, ma'am, because of paucity of time, very quickly, Seema, ma'am, uh, please reflect on this area, the role of parents and teachers in helping the students to overcome this phase of anxiety during. examinations yeah parents and teachers have a big role because uh, basically it is related with the confidence of the child so as a parent as a teacher we have to increase the confidence level of the child and self efficacy more the confident they become more self efficient to face the challenges or to face the examination as a responsible thing the same as they learn in the same sense they give the exam as a challenge teacher has a big role in making the teaching learning process so interesting so that they understand and they like the subject and they like the teachers so examination becomes a very normal process parents should not pressure them compare with other children always pointing out their mistakes so all these need to be avoided be friendly with them discuss their problems give them support uh nutritious food emotional support so that is very very important to help out our children to face sure. examination as a healthy competitive challenging process of course sir thank you so much for your wise words and as we keep on saying again and again that examinations should be more of a celebration rather than a burden uh, thank you so much seema ma'am and babita ma'am for connecting with us in this uh, conversation and uh, sharing the valuable insights with your expertise thank you so much thank you thank you ma'am thank, thank you ma'am thank you thank you to all the viewers who have connected with cit and crt for this particular segment of sahyog where we were discussing about how to overcome examination uh, anxiety and some powerful techniques have been shared by you i am sure you are going to use them in your life all the very best for your examinations uh, prepare very well but do not be anxious afraid scared or uh, do not feel that uh, you are alone in this of course everyone is with you so prepare well and at the end of the day uh, well it ends well 
uh, it doesn't matter how much you score but what actually matters is that you learn from your mistakes thank you once again this is a wrap up for our sahyog program and viewers uh, well this was the last live session for this day but of course you can watch the recordings of the live programs on ncrt official you can connect with us through ncrt official and evidya channels thank you once again take very good care of yourself and all the very best for your examinations namaskar सोच में सकारात्मकता लाएं, जीवन को बेहतर बनाएं। मनोदर्पण पर कॉल लगाएं, मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाएं। मनोदर्पण पर कॉल लगाएं, मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाएं। चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम, मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम। चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम, मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम। मनोदर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू